Bye. I'm Melissa. No, I'm Margaret. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for coming. So I understand today you are here because you have some concerns, possibly about uh, gaining weight and mm -hmm. diabetes. So do you want to talk more about that? Well, I have been gaining weight over the years. You know, I mean, uh, for a long time it's been gradual, but lately it seems like it's coming faster. And I've been to my doctor, and he th he did some testing and thought that I'm pre-diabetic. So now I'm I'm kind of worried about. So it scares you a little bit then. It sure does. You could be developing this chronic condition. It's yeah. scary. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to ask you a few questions, if that's okay with you, to sure. learn more about maybe your lifestyle. Or, um, sure. So you're currently a teacher, I see. Mm -hmm. So how, how does that work with your um, you know, managing uh, weight and things like that? Do you have any concerns with your career for, for uh not really. No, at all. no, I mean they're not gonna hide, they're not gonna fire me because I'm overweight. But well, sure. It really kind of impacts my day. I'm just not able to be as active as I like mm -hmm. to be. And um, there's always in the teachers' lounge, there's always goodies, and it becomes very difficult. And then, you know, usually somebody will go out and get fast food for lunch, and sure. and um, it, you know, so in in that regards, that's how it. It impacts, you know, my weight. So it's kind of difficult to stay away from those snack areas too, and oh, there's constantly terrible. snacks around. Yeah. So, and then you feel frustrated because you know you're eating unhealthy. I'm sure, and right. that can frustrate you a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about. You mentioned that you, uh, your doctor said you're pre-diabetic. Is that correct? Yeah, I've got. I had some blood sugars that were not exactly right and he thought maybe losing some weight watching my diet exercising might bring some of that back into my um my dad is is diabetic okay and um matter of fact he's he's uh he's kind of bad he's on dialysis okay. for his kidneys and um he you know he's just not that healthy and he's overweight and so is my mom so um i she has bad uh, hips and she, you know she's got high blood pressure and arthritis generally so you know she's really you know gotten to be pretty heavy so is my sister I mean it just seems like I'm seeing all these things have happened to them and I don't mm -hmm. want to have my dad has an amputation so uh, um, you know I don't want to let him down and uh, so, it's very scary. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of a fear. There's a fear factor in there. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And seeing, you know, your father go through the whole progression of diabetes is mm -hmm. a scary thing. You don't want that for yourself, I'm sure. No, I don't. Um, one thing I was wanting to just ask you, just so we, if, if it's okay with you, just so we can uh, think a little bit more about behavioral choices and things like that. I'm just curious uh, about your height and weight. That what? Your height and your weight. Oh, so height and weight. Mm -hmm. um, I'm about, I think I've shrunk a little bit, but I used to be 5'5". Five, five. Five, okay. And I'm about one, uh, 198 this morning. Okay, okay. So has your doctor done uh, BMI analysis or how is your heart, um, I'm sorry, your blood pressure and things like that? Did he? So he was concerned about any of those I think so, but my blood pressure is okay, but it's it's gone up. I mean, where it used to always be maybe 116 over 70 something, it, it's gone up to, you know, 130 something over um, high 80s. Okay. So it's crept up a little bit, but um, he's I'm not on medication or anything yet. Okay. But he thought that if I could lose some weight, sure. um, that might help that too. Sure. So just feeling better too is important to you. You want to feel better about your health and yourself, and mm -hmm. maybe have more energy. Mm -hmm. Is that something you notice that mm -hmm. is influence yeah. your day? So yeah. those are get tired. Things. You know, I'm really tired when I come home from work. Sure. And then you know the kids. Sometimes I'm driving them around to their activities, okay. and you know the last thing I want to do is stand up and um, you know cook dinner. So right. it's. A lot of times it's pizza or mm -hmm. something else fast.
So you are a mom as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, I am. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Okay. Well, if it's okay with you, I would like to um, kind of move on to some ways that we can think about your behavior and um, use some skills that we have. Um, if I have your permission to move forward and talk maybe more about um, how we can uh, discuss losing weight or options that may be good for you to, okay, to sure. use. Um, so I'm just curious, on a scale from 0 to 10, 0 being not at all important and 10 being very important, how important is it to you right now that you uh, begin to lose weight? Uh, probably, yeah, like I say, um, it's important because I'm afraid I'm going to get worse and I'm going to end up like my, my dad and right. my mom and um, my sister has bad arthritis already in their uh, hips and, and her knees. Um, I mean, I guess it's a, a, a seven, eight. A seven, eight, okay. I think it would be higher. I, 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 I had those things, you know, if I had the diabetes or if I sure. had the high, high blood pressure. But seeing your loved ones um, mm -hmm. have to deal with these issues because of their weight mm -hmm. makes this actually very important for you to, to lose weight then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And then, so going on further, um, on a scale of one to 10, mm -hmm. or zero to 10, I'm sorry, how confident are you that we can uh, move towards losing weight? How, how confident do you feel in yourself that you can begin losing weight? Not very. Not very. Probably maybe a two or a three. Two or three. I mean, I've tried, you know, to watch what I'm doing. I've tried sure. some different diets, but, you know, it just doesn't ever stick. Okay. Um, well, what do you think, or what are some things you've thought of maybe that we could do to make that number higher, to make you more confident in losing weight? Are there any options or things that you've seen or... Things that other people you know have done that you think would make your confidence a little bit higher in this way? Maybe if I had some success along the way, success, sure. it would help me feel like, yeah, this is something I can do. Mm -hmm. You know, this is really going to work this time. Okay. I, you know, my, I don't have very much success in the past to report, so, you know, it just it feels like it's purposeless to, to go forward with any type of dieting. But do you have a, a support network or do you feel that there are others out there that uh, would work with you or support you in losing the weight? Um, I think my daughter would because she's she's actually expressed a little concern about her weight. Okay. So I think um, I think that's something we might even talk about to, you know, doing something together. Yes, sure. To help her too. I mean, I want to be in a good example for my kids and um, I don't feel like I'm doing that so um, you know if I if I could talk with her and you know um, we kind of jumped in this together maybe that would help I mean I don't know that my mother would be that supportive mm -hmm. she's kind of too far gone she doesn't really care or worry about her way this anymore you know it's sort of like she is what she is sort of so it's important to you to, um, so we've discussed a few things. I mean, you have concerns about your weight as far as your health, but it's also important, so it sounds like it's important to you to be a good example for your children and to also live a long life so you can be there for them and, mm -hmm. and, and show them how, um, how important it is to be healthy. So it sounds mm -hmm. like you, know, you really value being a mom too. No, I do, yeah. yes. It's more Very important than anything. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, okay. I want to feel better too, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get a little short of breath, and my knee starts hurting if I walk too far, and, you know, I can't, so I, um, you know, I, I'd rather sit in the car than walk to the soccer field or, you know, when my son's playing, or, you know, it just sort of gets to be this full circle of... Cycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I keep hearing this, um, you mentioned feeling better and not being out of breath, and those are different things that somewhat uh, where I think about exercise mm -hmm. um, have you thought about which would work more for you <clears throat> losing weight would you have you thought about a combination of exercise and nutrition or do you think more changing your diet is something that's feasible for you I'm just curious in your thoughts about well I'm not my knee bothers me a lot yeah. so um, I guess I'd rather lean toward the diet side okay um, 
and if I lost a little of weight, maybe that meat wouldn't bother so much. Mm -hmm. And then I could start some exercise. Okay. okay. That's the second step. Definitely. Okay. Well, I'd like to move in a little bit further. Um, we, we typically like to ask our patients um, about some of their values in life. Mm -hmm. And then we can discuss further how those values match um, their behavior and, and changing their behavior and how it kind of correlates. And it kind of helps us move in the direction of coming up with some possible options. Would you be willing to do that with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you this card. And I'd like you to pick maybe three things on here that you think are values you um, that are very important to you in your life. And then we can talk about those further. Well, they all look pretty good. Yeah. Um, so I have to pick three that Yeah, are, if you could pick three that are most important to you, you think. In, I want to be a good parent. Have good parent. That's right off the bat. Sure. Um, I'm responsible. I mean, with being an adult, I want to be, you know, give off the, the sense that you're responsible. And maybe not hypocritical. Okay. Not hypocritical, is that, is that, I'm sorry, I didn't see that one. So you said good parent, responsible, and considerate? No, I said no. Like, um, not to be critical. A hypocrite? Of my daughter. Okay, okay, okay. A hypocrite, yeah. A hypocrite's probably a better word. So, um, what I'm, I think I'm hearing you say is you don't want to say, to someone, you lose weight while you are gaining. Right. Type of thing. Yeah. That's, that's a good. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk a little bit more about those values. So we, you kind of already touched on the good parent thing. So how do you see that value tying to your weight gain and maybe keeping you from being a good parent? Well, like I say, it's I mean, my participation is lower. Okay. Um, I can't get up and down in the bleachers, and yeah, I can't get you know take a long walk in a, in a soccer field that is, you know, away from home and have a long walk. And I want to participate in my kids' behavior, you know, their behaviors, not the behaviors, their activities, you know. Yeah, okay. So. And that seems like that may tie in also with the, the hypocrite piece. You want to be a good example. You had mentioned before for your for your children. Right, exactly. Um, and I'm not doing that right now. I mean, I know I am. You know, I've, um, you know, my life has been working with kids. Kind of. Sure. That's been my career. So to have that, uh, this develop is, is really not a long, you know, like good sensibility. And your uh, sense of not being a great example for them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for being healthy, okay. And then you also mentioned being responsible. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like, Gain weight is irresponsible, or how does being responsible tie into you know your weight gain and and your concerns with that? Do you see any connection there? Well, I'm a single mom, okay. and um, I'm the one who has to be responsible for everything. So yeah, it's it's twice the whammy, you know. Um, every day I have to be, I have to, pay, you know, I have to pay the bills. I have to be the one who shows up at work. I mean, I can't really. Um, get sick. I don't have time for dialysis. I don't have, you know, I, I just, you know, have to. Um, I'm the res I'm when the, you know, the buck stops at me. So right. I have to be responsible. So that puts a lot of pressure on you too to uh, stay healthy and in shape for your family. Not only because you want to be a good example, but mm -hmm. you're you're it. I mean, you're a single mom, which is mm -hmm. amazing and hard and difficult. So mm -hmm. it's it difficult is. to find the time to even stay in shape and. Be right. healthy when you're running children around. Time is definitely Sports and at uh, a premium, you know. Mm -hmm. like when I get home, I'm just so tired from the day mm -hmm. and um, out of time. Yeah, to have a little time to be with the kids and um, manage the house and yard and yeah, all of Do some house too. chores and yeah. It's, so. it's, it's hard work. So yeah. again, it's not only um, that you want to be a good example, but it's also part of. Uh, your, your job as a mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the breadwinner, I'm, you know, I mean, it used to be different when I was married. You know, at least you had 
someone right. to back you up and right. someone, you know, two incomes, and it was very different than it is now. There's five minutes left in the interview. Okay. So, right, okay. So if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to just summarize what we've talked about a little bit and then maybe touch on um, one of the possible uh, options that we could, I could get you information <coughs> on to mm -hmm. move forward with um, losing weight and, and different thing, options that, you know, that may be out there for you. Is that something you want to do? Sure. About? Okay. So basically what I heard is that you are, um, you're a working mother, you're a single mom, you uh, are very concerned about your weight gain, not only because uh, you want to be a great example and be responsible for your family, but also you see what it's done to your family, to your dad, to your mom, to your sister. Yeah. Um, they have a whole array of health problems associated with weight gain and that scares you. Mm -hmm. um, your doctor told you you're pre-diabetic and so that also scares you because you could be developing a chronic condition that you just clearly don't have even time to deal with with your busy life and your family and um, you really want to think about options out there that could help you lose the weight. Specifically you mentioned changing your diet because you think exercise right now is just not an option with your knee pain and probably also time mm -hmm. can be a constraint night. I guess. Um, so does that sound like an accurate summary? Mm -hmm. Did I leave anything else? Anything else? Think so. Okay. Um, so would you like to move forward in, in talking about some possible options with diet and nutrition that sure. may be mm -hmm. good for you? Okay, so um, I can uh, give you some information afterwards on diabetes and weight, and we can also uh, get you some information on good sites to go on, um, with recipes and things like that. I mean, would cooking is cooking something you enjoy for your family? Maybe is that something we could look at? <coughs> um, not really. I mean, no. I don't cook typically because it, it just, there's just not enough time for me to stand there for two hours and sure. cook, cook and then eat and then wash up. That, and then the evening's over by that time. Are so. you concerned about um, the way your family eats or just oh, yeah. your, your family too? My family too. Okay. So maybe uh, we could, like I said, get you some information on quick and easy meals that are also healthy. I mean, there are a lot of options out there um, that are very quick and easy and healthy. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you have a lot of knowledge about the types of foods you should be eating, or would you like more on that as well? Mm, I would like more on that. I think I know the foods I shouldn't be eating because <laughs> those are the ones I'm eating. <laughs> right. The quick and yeah. yummy ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cakes that sure. work and oh, cookies all the time. That was um, interesting too. I did hear you mention um, the issues at the issues at work with all of the junk food that they bring in. I, mean, I have the same issue here too as well. Mm -hmm. I completely understand. Um, maybe we could talk further next time if we meet again mm -hmm. about um, maybe bringing healthy snacks to work with you to keep at your desk or is do you think that might be an option it might i mean the problem is that you know i see all of that stuff and then it's hard to to say no to it because it's so good all the stuff right <laughs> but you know maybe you have some healthy snacks up your sleeve that i don't know about well maybe we can think and talk about um you know things that will make you feel full and satisfied that are also healthy and then maybe you won't crave those, those bad foods as much? Is mm -hmm. that something maybe we could do, mm -hmm. you think? Sure. Okay. Would you, um, the other thing I was thinking, since you do, uh, you're very you're focused on the nutrition piece, maybe we could uh, set up time to meet the nutritionist. Would that be something you'd be interested in? Oh, yeah, definitely. And I mean, I, I, to me, quick and good and doesn't really um, equal, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Good and quick and healthy doesn't always seem like it it, you know, is possible. So if they have some good ideas, I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. We could definitely explore that further because it's very possible to do those three things. It's just <laughs> when, it, when time is a mm -hmm. when time is a value to you, it's hard to, to to grab those healthy things, and so you don't think about it as much. But yeah. we can definitely talk about that too. Mm -hmm. um, so, how confident do you think you are would be if? Of course, if we get these um, information sites and set up a time with a nutritionist, um, that you'd be willing to uh, move towards losing weight and changing your diet within the next week or so. Do you think that's possible for you? 
I don't know. It seems quick, but it seems awfully quick. But if I had time is up, please begin feedback feedback session.